It's lonely on top of the throne. I ain't a king of the pawn. Hop on the jet across the globe. I guess the boat is my home, and there's so many bills. Cause bird in my dome, and like turbulent air. I'm switching these flows. If you look at my neck, boy, I'm letting it snow. I'm starting to tell you it's a vessel alone. They show me love in my city. Yeah, you saying hippies. Women like thinking you know what I'm about. I'm not, I'm not. The stereotypes, they do not fit me. I'm bigger than life. Give everyone dogs. I'm not a guard. Go hop with a squad. I'm playing my part, but I'm LeBron. Wings of the team, I feel Jackson and Hart. The homie calling from a cell. A couple of homies be making a thing. I just want all of them dudes to do well. And I'm worried about taking a couple of L's. Don't sin for me, just win for me. Don't kill for me, just live for me. The keep it real for me. We eat together, leave the bill for me. Like, hand on my heart. I give it all I got. Walk the walk and talk the talk. Take a higher, that's a god. Man, I'm a heart, no, I give it all I got. What the walk, talk the talk. Take a higher, that's a god. Never stopping, that's a must. Always winning, never lost. GP. EA Sports coverage of the NFL brings us to the heart of Texas and the very wonderful AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Obviously, they do everything big here in Dallas, and the introduction to the Cowboys, no exception. They're set for football in Big D as their guys will do battle with the Cleveland Browns. Here's the former Sooner, Austin Seibert, to get this one started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. Fielded about a yard deep. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. So first and 10 now from the 30. Here's the first carry for Ezekiel Elliott. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. That's the receivers that spread the defense out, and they were able to come through with a slashing run. But to that point, it's going to be interesting to see the personnel chess match as this one progresses. Yeah, you're exactly right. Can they continue to create running lanes out of passing sets? And if so, it's going to be a long day for the defense. On second down now, it's Elliott. And he is met quickly in the backfield. Down he goes, folded like a lawn chair. Nice play right there to stop him behind the line, but I want to see how this defense continues to play him here in the first half. Yeah, we know. You know better than I. He has the ability to take over a game. So what do you do? Yeah, I think you have to make sure that you bottle him in at varying levels because if you crowd everyone to the line of scrimmage, if he breaks through, there's nothing but room to run. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. A first down carry by Elliott. Pass the 20. Ezekiel Elliott going to take it the distance. Touchdown, Cowboys. Ezekiel Elliott, 46 yards. As his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Forbath, the extra point. And that makes the score 7-0. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. 
This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Mayfield going to lead the Browns up now, first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Go, go. Now Mayfield. That's out to Chubb, complete. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. Calling a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. A run for Nick Chubb. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A first down there on a pickup of 25. Now, the good thing for you, partner, is you're not as old as I am, okay? So, true. So back when the dinosaurs roamed the earth, <laughs> the right side of an offensive line was almost always your power side. Your bigger, stronger physical guys. But on this play, they tossed it right and looked like it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, but that's not the case so much anymore, you're saying, with the bigger guys? And not, not necessarily. You find the best guys, plug them in on your own line. Right. As a general rule now, you're a lot more balanced on your offensive line. It might still lean towards your best pass blocker on the left side, sure. but not necessarily all the time. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. So now second and ten after the incompletion on first down. A first carry now for Kareem Hunt. Only a yard on the pickup. So it leaves him needing a conversion here on third and a tough nine. It's a gain of a yard, and it's third down. Cut, give him 20. Hey, e, 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 e. Watch, watch a slap, watch a slap, watch a slap. Mike, 55, right there in the middle, 55. I got it. Check, 50. King, King, King. Check, I got it. To throw Mayfield. And this is caught. Off the deflection. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. Mayfield to throw for it on fourth. Got an open man. That's David Njoku, the tight end. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. The tackle was made by Michael Bennett. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. They'll wind up getting four down to the 36. This will be the eighth play of the drive here. Third and four. Mayfield hands it off to Chubb. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Now the offense not going anywhere. They're staying out there. They've converted once already on this drive. Here they go again on fourth down. Now 
Now Mayfield on fourth down. And that is going to be incomplete. The Browns. Chains on fourth down. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get them the football back. The Dallas offense here is set to begin the drive. Now they'll be looking to duplicate the efforts of drive number one that resulted in seven points in the seven zip lead. Well, you know how much I enjoy horse racing, right? Looks like they caught a flyer out of the gate, as they would say when you're running the big time races. It means they get out to a fast start. They're setting the pace, making the other team chase now. It's second and eight. And this should be the final play before the quarter ends. From the 38, Prescott. And he will be brought down, but he's got the interception on the final play of this first quarter. After 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Interception, Mayfield. Into double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. Landry, the intended target. Suddenly, it's first and goal after the interception. A quick change in the situation here. Now, Elliott. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Ezekiel Elliott with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Forbath able to convert the extra point. And it's now 14 to nothing. Forbath to send it away now following the touchdown. This fielded a few yards into the end zone. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of the teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 plays. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think they just stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try and generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. And they will only muster a yard here to the 38. Hey, a lot of luck! A lot of luck! 54, Bravo! Mayfield on third and two. Pressure comes and down goes Baker Mayfield. The offense going to stay out there. They've converted once, failed once. What can they do here on fourth down? Throwing Mayfield. Able to find Harris complete. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. 14 yards and it's a Cleveland first down. A first down throw for Mayfield. This is the tight end to Joku. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. That's good for a Cleveland first down and 11 yard pickup. Mayfield, he's going to look for Beckham in the end zone. And he bats it away and it falls down incomplete. He was looking for Odell Beckham that time. And now it's second down. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe when we look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. 
It's a gain of 10, and the Browns are going to get a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Mayfield to throw it. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Demarcus Lawrence able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Throwing on second and long. Mayfield. And he's going to go down again. The sack by Robert Quinn. I'm starting to feel for that quarterback back there. I mean, you know me. Normally, don't have a lot of empathy for the QB, right? In this case, definitely. He's been on constant duress this entire game. I don't know how he's surviving back there. And to think, there's still a long way to go in this football game. Third and long for Mayfield. He's got Njoku, his big tight end. Second quarter action, 156 remaining. Coming up at halftime in a little less than two minutes, we'll send you to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman is standing by. He'll have highlights and analysis of this first half. So the field goal there caps what winds up to be an 11-play drive. Well, partner, that's a lot of offense to run there to only get three points. I just wonder, are they going to recycle those plays because they were successful in getting three? Or do you go to another section of the playbook trying to find ones that get you into the end zone and get you six? And he'll take it back to about the 19-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. And they're hoping to redo their efforts of the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. The number one pick, Miles Garrett, coming in to drop him. Well, so much for setting the tone of the drive offensively. Giving up a big sack that loses that kind of yardage, not a great start. After the sack on first down, Prescott, and he's got Ezekiel Elliott. And he'll be a couple yards shy of the 20 at the 18. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. On third down, it's Prescott. Connects here with a tight end, Blake Jarwin. Now the Cowboys are going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in half number one. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Out of the gun, it's Elliott. Olivier Vernon brings him down. And now the clock will stop as he's able to get up and spike it here. And it looks like we've got a dime set here defensively. Six DBs in the game. Looking to throw. Prescott. They'll set up the screen to Elliott. And they'll get him down about three yards short of the first. Only two on the screen pass there, and it'll be fourth down. Instead of throwing it downfield, Charles, they just tried to dump it underneath there. you like the call? I do. I think it's a high percentage play because you get the completion, and what you're counting on is your back to use his legs and his elusiveness to make people miss and pick up the first down. In this case, it didn't happen. The offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. They're indeed going for it. It's Prescott into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Denzel Ward, and his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. Intended that time for Cooper. The Browns drive about to get started. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. Seven yards there on the first down screen play. Now a timeout taken. Perhaps a chance for one more quick play and then another timeout if they hurry. We'll see. 
Able to get seven on that first down pass play. Second and three. Mayfield looks to throw. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. And now we'll get a late timeout as it comes in the waning moments of quarter number two. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. Final play of the half, Mayfield. And he gets it to his running back, Nick Chubb. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Let's field it a few yards into the end zone. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. The Browns drive about to get started. They have the ball here for the inaugural drive of the second half. Pretty big deficit, though. We'll see what adjustments were made in that locker room. And I never want to make something more important than it actually is, right? I don't want to create more hype than what is there. But this is a real, do I'm doing it, though. <laughs> this is a really important drive. And we often talk about teams scripting plays to start a game. A lot of them script to start the second half, too. And they're scripting something that they expect to get them into the end zone and back into this game. We'll see if that script is a good one for them. Right there, 54. Looking to throw on second down. Mayfield. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. That happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. To throw on second and six, Prescott. Completes it to Jason Witten. First target, first catch, and a first down. The goal for any offense versus his own defense, find the holes where guys are available and put the ball in the receiver before any defender can step up and fill it. They did it well there. Perfectly executed crossing route. And he'll take this from the nine down to about the seven. Defensively, pretty good start there with their backs against the wall. That's a win for the stop troops right there. And if I'm them, I get a little bolder now. They won the first battle. Keep coming after them. Put the pressure on them. The line of scrimmage, the seven now on second and goal. Hey, kill, kill. Kill, kill. 57. They'll try again with Elliott. And he'll be stopped up after only a couple of yards as he gets it down to the five. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a gain of five, but they do keep him out of the end zone, and now it's fourth down. Running with Elliott. And he will take it in for a Cowboy score. Taking it in from a yard out. And the Cowboys, they push out in front further. Always important to get the first score of the second half. Now you start to pull away a little bit and get some breathing room going. And now we find out about the fortitude of the group that's behind. Because they were counting on getting into the game a little bit more, right? Maybe they get the first score. That doesn't happen. It looks almost insurmountable, but it's not. Let's see how hard they play the rest of the game. And a pretty good return here. He'll be stopped just shy of the 25 at the 24-yard line. Good. 
The Browns drive about to get started. And following the interception, just any interception, are you a little bit more cautious when you start that next drive? Or no, you just throw that out the window? I think you are. I don't think that there's any way you can run back out there and go, ah, totally didn't affect me. Let's just go ahead and be loose with the football again. You're going to take care of it, but you have to be careful about being too cautious because now you can't run any offense at all. Still want to attack. We'll see how they attack them here. From the 24, they'll go again on second and 10. Regular, regular, regular. On the carry, it's Chubb. Give him four on the ground there. They're now left with third and six. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Here's Mayfield. Flush to his right. And he's got his man. That's Landry. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. 14 yards, and it's a Cleveland first down. On first down, they'll run with Chubb. And he'll take this for about four up to the 46-yard line. I call that play a success. A nice inside run sets up a very manageable second down, a very solid gain on that play. At the 46-yard line. Following the pickup of four, here's second and six. And again, it's Chubb. And he works his way forward for about four up to the midfield strike. They'll run for it. Here's Chubb. And that play will go nowhere. Losing yardage back near midfield at the 49. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. And they're indeed going. It's Mayfield. And they will not be able to hook up there. It's incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And Dallas, they'll take over in terrific field position. They'll run on first down. It's Elliott, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. They'll wind up losing four yards on the play, and it'll bring up a second and 14. Mike 58, right there. Hey, me and you all day, all day. I'm coming after you. I'm coming after you. Swing go 46, 46. That's mine. 26 to throw his press gun. Got an open man, the tight end, Jarwin. Give him 18 on that one, and it's a Dallas first down. Try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. Three quarters have come and gone. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Bring it. Bring it. Let's go. Swerve. Swerve to Number 53. Mike 53. Crunch time. There go. Kill, kill. 53 is the mic. 53 is the mic. Coming. 26. Prescott now. He's going to look in zone here for Cooper. And that will be incomplete. Tried to dial up the long way way out there, but it'll be third down. The Cowboys on third down. They've hit two for four thus far. This is third and ten. From the shotgun again to Elliott. And he'll be brought down at the 34, well short of the first down marker. On now is Kai Forbath to try the field goal. 
He's going to need a little mustard on this one. It will be a 51-yard attempt. And Forbath will put this one through. And that will extend their lead even further. So it's three more points, and that widens this thing out even further here in the fourth. And you know in this league, you can never have enough points. But this widens it out, as you said. And now it's all about ball control, isn't it? The Browns take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Browns drive about to get started. And on that last drive, Whitford on fourth turned it over. A good job by their defense, though. They held him to three. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Michael Bennett, the former Texas A&M Aggie, dropping the hammer. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Protection certainly going to need to be a bit better here on second and 16. Now Mayfield. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by the linebacker, Jalen Smith. And they will set up shop in enemy territory at the 42-yard line. Here's Prescott, and that's Elliott, complete. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. Hey, kill, kill! Kill, kill! 47! Going to 54, going to 54, Check, 53, Mike! Now Prescott. And the Browns pressure gets to him that time, and he's going to go down. Miles Garrett picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Let's go, let's go. Hey, we got Mike. 53, Mike 53. Let's go, baby. Turn it on. Get that ball. 53. Prescott from the gun on third. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off by Morgan Burnett. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. So they get the takeaway, but that's just step one. They still have a lot of work to do. But they don't want to focus on that now. Now it's about getting the ball in the end zone and hoping they can take it away again. Yeah, still a three-score game, though, fourth quarter. The Browns drive about to get started. Following the interception, Mayfield. They'll let it go deep for Beckham. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Hey, box drop, box drop. To throw Mayfield. And that one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football here. Nearly a fourth pick. And it's third down. Another incompletion. You know, it's a wonder he's still moving around back there the number of times he's been sacked. Yeah, he's staying out there, isn't he? And you don't think about it much in a game like this, but he's showing incredible leadership. Still competing, still fighting, not taking himself out of a ball game that appears lost. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense that's well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. Hey, team six. Team six. Hey, alert, 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 alert. My touch. Fourth down, Mayfield. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And Xavier Woods with a pick. And this return is going to be halted right around the 28-yard line. Trying to get it to Landry there. On first down, Elliott. 
And he stopped immediately there. The tackle made by the linebacker, Joe Schobert. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage, use your timeout in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Cowboys in possession of the football here as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And we got Mike, number 53. Mike, 53. Now Prescott. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And that'll be incomplete. Now they took their shot all right, but it comes up empty. And it's fourth down. Fourth quarter, you've got the big lead. If you're coaching, Charles, you, you still taking shots like that downfield? I'd be a little more concerned with running some clock and making sure you're taking care of the lead because you keep flinging it around, you throw a couple of picks, you can put yourself in jeopardy. Well, they can probably live with that with this late lead in the fourth quarter. That's one of the few things that's gone wrong. You're exactly right. This one was well in hand. That kick there is more for cosmetics, you know, to add to their score. Not getting it, that shouldn't harm them at all. Now, meanwhile, a pass that should have been intercepted, but it winds up falling incomplete. The tight end, David Njoku, the intended receiver, and it's second down. Throwing Mayfield. And now here's another interception. Picked off Byron Jones. And his guys will take over at their own 44-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And a few kneel downs should just about do it. Now, defensively, they do have all three timeouts, but very little reason to use them at this point. Elliott on first down. Got to get this back to the line of scrimmage, but that's it. Tackle made by Demarius Randall. They've called his number a lot this afternoon. You wonder how much tread is left on those tires. We certainly do, but I always think back to one of my favorite coaches in the NFL, and he used to have a meeting with his running backs every year in the offseason and say, look, as many times as you're going to carry the ball, you should be able to carry it one more time, so make sure you get in shape. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. They come up to the line now facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Here's Elliott. And they'll get this across the midfield stripe, but still winding up short of the first down. It's a seven-yard run, but it does bring up fourth down. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle doing the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there about to break a big one. Now Prescott on fourth down. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. The D-tackle, Sheldon Richardson, came barreling in for the sack. So we were looking at each other up here in the booth when they went for that, saying, oh, wow, talk about trying to add insult to injury. Some teams are just like that. You know, some philosophies, some coaches are like, look, when I got a chance to put some more points on the board, I don't care what the situation, I'm going to do it. And they're also the same coaches as a general rule that if someone does it to them, you won't hear people protest out of them. That's just who they are. After the incomplete pass here now is second and ten. One yard, the official pickup there, so it's going to set up third and nine. So this one will end in a victory for the Dallas Cowboys. And they were really helped by their defense, forcing three turnovers. I think what we saw in this one, today's defense. And what I mean by that is in the old days, pitching shutouts was big time. That was paramount. But the big thing was holding people down, holding down their yardage, right? Don't let them throw the ball through the air and gain a lot. Of, but now it's about taking the ball away taking away possessions, getting the ball back for their offense. They had three takeaways in this one, and it led them to victory. 
So that'll do it for us, for my partner, Charles Davis, and all the hardworking men and women on our crew. I'm Brandon Gaunt. You've been watching the NFL right here on EA Sports. It's a win for the Cowboys as we sign off and say so long from Arlington. Get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dreams reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laughing. Now I hit the scene, they like lights, camera action. Living in a dream, now my music, they be blasting. Step out, I'm a star, always in the latest fashion. Had to set the bar, bar try to catch me lacking. Bank account for my son, he won't have to struggle. You can see it in my eyes, all I do is hustle. They tried to knock me off my feet, I'm ready to rumble. Feel like I ain't eight in weeks, working off the muscle. Oh yeah, oh my, we ride for my brothers, no lie. All you, all you can die, never wrong, they right. I ain't changing my side, yeah, we in it for life. And I've been having magic. With the gang, we ball out, it can't get tragic. All we got, we gon' let you, let you have it. Stuck in my ways, think I need to change my habits. What would you do if you were me and didn't have it? Look in the mirror, now I'm feeling like a savage. Tell my son I love him for him, I'ma make it happen. Now my dream's reality, not going back to back to back. You say that you proud of me, I turn my back, you laugh. Hey, how could you lie to my face? People claim that they be loyal, they be taking up space. See my Roski lose his heart when he was fighting that case. Took so many yells, I'm not going back to those days. I'ma treat you how you treat me, do you like how it tastes? Shawty, use a, use a can't treat you like my ace i got way too many problems to be worried i'm straight me and craig craig had to watch for the jakes on the road this road crazy i get eight. on ea sports and we are in silicon valley at levi state short time ago this crowd they love their 49ers and they were in full roar as their guys burst out of the locker room and we're ready for football as the 49ers get set to do battle with the minnesota vikings dan bailey now to put the ball in the air and we are underway from santa clara that a fair catch signaled for and successfully let's go let's go, let's go. 
Here we go, here we go. Wait, AD! Watch the screen, watch the screen! Watch the screen! 65, 65. He's coming, he's coming! Hey, alert! 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 Hot. There's Garoppolo on first and ten. Man open, it's Goodwin. And he'll be out of bounds across the 30-yard line. Seven yards, the pickup on the pitch and catch. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Deuce, 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 deuce. 21, 21, here we go. 21, 21. Garoppolo now. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Daniil Hunter, he's the one that got home and takes him down for a loss of nine. Great job defensively. I think he was trying to go through his progressions, find someone to get rid of the football. Before he knew it, he was on his back. So that just brings us right back to what you said in the beginning. A great job defensively. Nowhere to go with the football. That led to the sack. Got him in. He finds Sanders. 18 yards, first down, Niners. He's such a good route runner. Shows it there on third down. Very proficient and a good pass. And you know what I've observed over the years in the NFL? The better a route runner you are, the more confidence your guy's going to have in you to go to you in important times because he can trust you being in the right spot. And they connected there and picked up a first down. That'll set him back with a loss of three on the play. And that'll make this a second and 13. Here we go. 180! 54 Mike. 12, 12. 55! 55! Hey, Delta! Set, one, set. Check, A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. And he hits his running back, Tevin Coleman. And this will be stopped at the 44. That one good for seven yards. 21, 21! That's a gain of seven. Makes it third and seven. Six, pull it high. They'll run for the first time with Tevin Coleman. Well, that call makes sense because they've been throwing it well on this drive. And once again, they show passing formation, showing the shotgun. Then they ran out of it. That's a nice play by them defensively, though, to hold it to a short game. Hey, hey, hey. seven. 54. Mike's 54. And let's pin the mirrors back and go full stack. They do go for it. It's Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. They're able to keep the drive alive seven yards that time, and the decision to go for it proves to be a good one. They'll run with Coleman on first down. And running room scarce here. He's going to be stopped in his tracks at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there. Second down. At the Vikings, 47-yard line. Go, Officially go, nothing on that last run. They'll try again, go, second and ten. All day, defense, all day, all day. Mike Fart 9, Mike Fart 9. 12, 12. Tighten up, tighten up. On second down, it's Coleman. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. This will be a loss of three, and now a much tougher third down looming. Anytime you call an inside running play, you just know there should be a lot of congestion there. You're counting on your offensive line to take control of the line of scrimmage. That didn't happen in this case, and that play got bottled up. Here we go, here this we go. now play number nine on the opening drive, but it's third and long. Now the Georgia Southern man, it's Matt Breda. Yeah, boy, he is very close to a first down, but from where they're spotting that football, he's going to be a foot or so short. Now the defense going to use the first of their timeouts. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. They've already gone for it and made it once on this opening drive. They're going to try it again on fourth down. Watch Twitch. One, Omaha. Garoppolo to throw for it on four. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. The Niners go for it, but it doesn't work out. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon.
Good starting field position for the Vikings as they have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. Throwing his Cousins. Completes it to the fullback hand. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. And the big guy catches the ball out of the backfield, and oftentimes it's quite a surprise to the guys playing defense because not ordinarily thought as a pass catcher, it often works when they decide to dial it up. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Now the first carry for Dalvin Cook. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. They'll get three as the drive continues. It's a first down. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. And give him four yards there. It'll be second and six. On second down, Cook. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Any team that runs the toss and runs it successfully, that means they win the battle on the edges. That means you seal the edge in order to let your back get to the corner. They got it done there for a very nice game. Now a run with Cook. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And it'll bring up a second and 13. They'll try to throw now. Cousins. And his throw's going to be incomplete. The linebacker Fred Warner right there on the coverage. When you see passes knocked down by those guys I call the frustrated fullbacks, the linebackers, you know that in their zone coverage, they were able to drop, see the ball thrown, and react to it very quickly. Third and long for Cousins. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And that'll wind up incomplete. Bold play call there. Now it's fourth down. You can tell they were hoping for a flag there offensively. Several on the sideline motioning. Hey, why not a penalty? Why not a penalty? I, what did you see? Yeah, I think you've got to let them play. And the officials are instructed. If there's contact coming from both sides, no flag. Let them fight it out. And forces fourth down. These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted. But I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yeah. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their histories. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. This is taken at his four. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. Let's go. Here we go, here we go. The San Francisco Three. offense Three. ready to start Three. their next drive. They had a great drive going last time. They were moving the ball, and then all of a sudden it just stalled out. So we'll see what they can do here, Charles. And it's always easy to second guess when you don't get it on a fourth down try. But they had to like the feeling that they had going on offense. They won there he goes, left side. Touchdown, 49ers. Tevin Coleman, 72 yards. And the 49ers have now taken the lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And that makes it a 7-3 lead. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And fortunate to get points on the board last time. They had to hit a really long field goal to do so. 
The kickers in today's game are so good and so skilled and hit from distances that we almost start to take them for granted. And we can't do that. That's a long field goal that they got three points out of. They've got to feel good about that. And they better make sure they love him up because he's helped them out. Yeah, now we'll see if that offense can put six on the board here. We'll see. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Calling a loss of two on the play. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. for Cook. And some room to work. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. It's a gain of 20 and picking up the first. And I know you can't really see it, but that play spells frustration with a capital F for the guys on defense. They covered everyone else. End up going to the running back out of the backfield. And he picks up a backbreaking first down. Uh, he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. Well, he hasn't made much of an impact in the running game thus far, and after that last run, not much is going to change in that area. He hasn't been able to get anything going, and really the offensive line not helping him much. I know he's easy. Two minutes to play in his first half. 7 3, our score. We remind you that coming up in two minutes' time, we'll hand you off to Orlando where Jonathan Coachman will have highlights and analysis in his first half of action. Here's a throw dropped off to his fullback. Six yards on the pickup, and that'll make it a second down. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. Rudolph on the receiving end from Cousins. And tackled down after a gain of three. Leaves him with one yard to go on third down. And, partner, I think that's a great example that not all tight ends are created equal because everything was right. Got the completion, but he's not one of the more dynamic guys in the league. So even though he caught it, couldn't turn it into much more. They'll run it. Here's Cook. And he's able to get it to the 33. Good enough for a first down. The Vikings going to use their third and final timeout as they'll get a chance to talk it over after picking up the first down. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. Now Cousins. And this is Cook with a grab. Nothing at all on that one. It'll be second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He can make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. <laughs> to throw again on second down. Cousins under pressure, and he will go down. Sack back. At the 38, credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. You never want to give up a sack. From the O-line's perspective, they need it for several reasons, especially because they felt like they let little brother down back there in the pocket. Oh, no doubt. They have a ton of pride, and they go into every job wanting to keep that guy clean. They want that uniform with no grass stains, no dirt, nothing on it. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And his guys have got it back at the closing stages of the first half. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And throwing to start the drive, but that one incomplete.
Mike line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up, second and 10. Not wanting to take a chance this time. They'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. And we welcome you back now. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, getting set for quarter number three here. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. That'll be taken in the end zone. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And with the way this offense has played thus far, to be frank, they got to feel pretty grateful to be in the ball game. I would agree with you totally because they've done all of nothing offensively in this game, yet they still find themselves in a position on this drive where a touchdown can give them the lead. They need to take advantage of it. And they're still looking for that first touchdown here in the third quarter. All they have so far, the field goal. From the 24, Cousins. And Rudolph has it, the tight end. And they work this well upfield across the 45. Good work after the catch, gonna net him 23 and a first. Cousins now to throw on first down. Looking for Diggs, and it's intercepted. It's the former Seahawk, Richard Sherman. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. Well, and I saw the pressure coming at him. That just looked problematic. Hit him as he threw it, and the interception ensued. Let me pay homage to the man who stood in this spot before. He always talked about how much pressure is in the face of a guy, and can he step into a throw. And when you can't do that, oftentimes interceptions result. So after the INT, it's Garoppolo. Pressure coming from the Vikings, and they get there and bring him down. Well, partner, we know they came out of the locker room down on the scoreboard, but I will guarantee you the defensive side of the ball got super emotional. They can come out and play with aggressiveness, with fury, because they don't have to be quite as precise, and it paid off for them on that play, didn't it? Sure did. Excellent play, really setting the tone for this third quarter. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. That one good for 17 as they're set up better now for third down. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 21, 21. Check three. They'll try and run for it here. It's Coleman. And that'll hurt the average a bit as this time they're able to get him behind the line. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. 12, fellas, here we go. They'll go for it. It's Garoppolo. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And this defense will take over right near midfield at the 49-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. Their defense has done the job. Now it's the offense's turn as they've got it first and 10. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Eric Armstead, the defensive end, will get credited for the sack. That huge loss on the sack makes this job much more difficult. It's now second down and 22 yards to go. Now Cook. And they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. Cousins now. Now they go screen. It's complete. And to the 49-yard line, but no further. And obviously, he is well short of the first. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. 
And a tough ask here. They're going to go for it on fourth down and nine. They'll indeed go for it. It's Cousins. And he's able to find Diggs. Give him 18 there and give the Vikings a first down. So from inside Niner territory now, this is first and 10 at the 32-yard line. Throwing Cousins. And he will take this all the way up past the 40-yard line. You hear me laughing, partner, and I'm not laughing at the situation, but sometimes you just get yourself into a rut. It's hard to shake yourself out of it. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 at the 41-yard line. And he gets this to the other side of midfield across the 45 before going out. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Right back to Coleman here on first down. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead. Give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? And that's probably a good philosophy at this point. Going to make that defense stand up and stop them. 11-11. On play action, it's Garoppolo. That's going to be caught by Samuel. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 16. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. 11-11. On first down, here's Breida. And he'll get it here to the 10-yard line. Here we go, here we go, it's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. On second down and four, Garoppolo. And across the chalk, into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. From 10 yards out, and the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold with the extra point, and that pushes the lead up to 11. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. And no return on this one. It's a fair catch. A signal for and take it. The Vikings take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think. I was in a quarterback. But number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by the safety, Jack Whiskey Tart. And the return here is stopped at the 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. to throw is Garoppolo. He's going to take a shot right away for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. Would have been a big hitter if they had connected. Instead, it's second down. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Garoppolo going to hand this one to Coleman. And he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop him behind the line. Brandon, it's clearly a running situation when you're up in the fourth quarter. They're going to have to stack the box and make it difficult for them to move the ball. Made it very difficult right there. Now they need to repeat that effort. Yeah, bring seven, eight, nine, whatever it's going to take to slow them down. Here we go, here the we go, here Niners go. on third down. They've only converted once in four tries. This is third down and 12. To throw, it's Garoppolo. And the throw there going to be incomplete. We've seen good cover skills on display throughout this game, really from both teams. And there's another nice example there of them making it difficult to complete a pass. Here we go, here and with go. things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. White, white, white. Hey, Alpha. 54 is Mike. 54 is Mike. Check, check. Watch 54. Is that Garoppolo going to go on fourth down. And no, 
It's incomplete. Boy, it looked like he had it and dropped it. And the Vikings defense is going to get the football back. And I am not sure, partner, there what the mindset was to go for. I don't know. And some teachers feel that possession is the key to everything. They just want to have the football in their hands. No matter how it goes to the other. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Coming up now on a second and 15 following that sack. To throw, Cousins. He'll rifle this one deep. And my goodness, another interception. Picked off by Kwan Williams. And his crew will take over with a football at the 35-yard line. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. Now listen, it's a team game, we know that. But where would these guys be right now, Charles, without their defense? They take over here following the turnover. Defense did it again, but on offense, they have to feel like, hey, we need to do something. You're exactly right. You just mentioned it. The defense did it again. They bailed them out on a number of occasions in this contest. It's time for them to repay the defense at the least. Keep the ball for a while. Give those guys a break so they can catch their breath. There goes a deep and intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by Anthony Harris. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. Two-score game here in the fourth, and that pick, it kind of keeps the door ajar, doesn't it? It does, and you wonder about their strategy because with a two-score lead, you would think maybe you're just sitting on and trying to drain some clock. It's almost like they felt like, hey, we've got a good cushion. We can keep pressing it. It ended up costing them. Going deep for Diggs. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. Cousins finding Diggs on a big one. 42 yards. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and 10. They'll let this go for the end zone. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked off by the safety, Jarkwiski Tart. And a great return as they're finally able to take him down. What a nightmarish game he's having now. Six interceptions that he has thrown. Absolutely unbelievable, isn't it? Hard to believe we're watching this and have seen it. But it just tells you about the game of football. It giveth and it taketh away. Yeah, the guys, though, that have thrown six interceptions in a game, the likes of Peyton Manning, Brett Favre, I think Joe Namath, he did it three times. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield, incomplete. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Handoff, Coleman, right side. He's got a first down and more past the 30. And now look at him go. The 20, 10, touchdown, 49ers. Tevin Coleman, 82 yards. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. That's fielded in the end zone. And they'll put up the stop sign there as his guys will get it at the 25. Here are the Vikings now to start their next drive. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the inning, the interception. But they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one going. Finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. The intended receiver was Laquan Treadwell, and it's third and short. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. And the pressure too much that time as Cousins goes down. Eric Armstead in there to take him down on what will take us to the two-minute warning. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Here's Cousins. And now here is another interception. Picked off by Quan Alexander. And the return will stop right around the 25. And that one, Charles, is just going to about wrap up what was no doubt a dominating defensive performance. Yeah, I don't care what team it is. I don't care who you play, whether they're strong offensively or not. 
just giving up three points in the NFL, that's absolutely a dominant performance and one that they can build on. A solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. Oh, Garoppolo's going to throw it. And that's complete to Sanders. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Garoppolo gives Zubrida. Try to find a lane, but instead he'll get back to the line of scrimmage. And no more. Tackle made by Eric Kendricks. Throwing on second down, Garoppolo, and that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Once you get into the red zone and the safeties have less ground to cover, you'd better be quick with your delivery. Not much space to get a ball in there. Yeah, when that field shrinks with those safeties, it's almost like there's a couple extra defenders out there, right? It certainly is. They end up taking up extra space just because there's not enough space for receivers to run through. 21-21. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And eventually taken down here. Great coverage downfield. The sack by big number 98, Linval Joseph. And how about this? Fourth and long, and they're going to go for it. Garoppolo to throw for it on fourth. He's going to take a shot for the end zone. And this will be caught. Well, forget taking the knee. Some late gamesmanship here as they throw for a late touchdown. I tell you, Charles, you play to the final whistle. I get that. But there are a few folks that might not be too. That's what I want all the time. And they feel like if they don't do it themselves, they're not living up to the message that they're sending out. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The 49ers get the win here at home as we say so long from Santa Clara.
Honey, I dash, got it on smash, foot on the gas. I would not crash, they would not stop me. Sandfall, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky. I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man, no man, oh, there with the hands, thought it could guard me. I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on smash, foot on the gas. I will not crash, honey, y'all dash, 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 yeah. They can't catch up cause they lacking the stamina. Way too advanced to be playing with amateurs. They on attack when they tackle like damages. They react and play it back on the camera. High boy, just consider me blammable. Sure shot, I got all the intangibles. Need a leash, I'm a beast, I'm an animal. Eat the competition up like a Hannibal. Know the game like I wrote up the manual. I do weekly what you do on the annual. MVP, that decision unanimous. Hit dials, I don't think they can handle this. Battlefield, it's just me and my warriors. Guaranteed we emerge victorious. Years, blood, sweat, tears, it's glorious. I remember when they all was ignoring us. Dash, got it on smash. Foot on the gas. I will not crash. They will not stop me. Tenfold, copy, end zone, watch me, celebrate, I'm cocky, I do my dance, jump in the stands, no man, no man, oh, there with the hands, thought it could guard me, I ruin they plans, I do what I want, they do what they can, got it on smash, put on the gas, I will not crash, honey, y'all dash, 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 they slept on the team, now they owe me, I need a ring and a trophy. Uh, I say I'm the best cause I am. It's no need in keeping it low key. Uh, I can call for the D like a turkey. Uh, I run straight through the D like a train. Uh, this year we ain't taking no losses. Uh, it's all about making the game. Uh, I hear a lot of trash talk. Uh, he call himself making a name. Uh, I put on the jet. The coach will regret it but letting him stay in the game. Uh, Team morale took a tumble. tumble. Next time be humble. Be I'm the lion in the jungle. Uh, Try not to fumble, rumble, young man, rumble. Never slip nor stumble. I take off, poof, magic. Now watch me juke through the traffic. Footwork, fantastic. Dominating every facet. Treat the pocket like plastic. Pick on the blitz, pass it. Got it on, smash. Put on the gas. I will not crash. Honey, y'all, dash. 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 Honey, y'all, dash.